everyone, welcome back. So I have a Ulta Sephora, Nordstrom, I think those are the only places I got something haul for you. It's just been, kind of been collective and I have tried out several of these products. So a lot of you guys have expressed that you like me to try out the products prior to talking about them in a haul. So I have tried these products out so I can give opinions on them. There's one thing that I got from Influencer that I have not tried out yet, but I'm really excited about, so I kind of wanted to share it with you. And I'll talk a little bit about Influencer if you're unfamiliar with Influencer when I get to that. So let's just get started with the things that I got from Ulta. First of all, I got two highlighters at Ulta and purple shampoo, but I left that in the shower. I like to use the um, Joico Color Care I think it's called Violet Purple Shampoo. I've talked about it on my channel. I've also posted about it on my Instagram account before, but that's my favorite purple shampoo to use to tone my hair whenever I get my hair highlighted. I like to use that to keep away the brassiness or at least to try. Um, okay, so when I went to Ulta, I specifically went for the Lorac highlighters. I heard that these released, that they are buttery and soft and I really wanted to try two of them. They only had these two left, so I probably would have gotten more, but there was like such a little selection and then I got a little buxom product. So first I'm going to show you the highlighters that I picked up. These are illuminating highlighters from Lorac. This one is Daylight, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's a beautiful like almost golden shade super duper pigmented buttery beautiful they go on super creamy on the face they apply just as well the second one that I got is called let's see moonlight now I wore this one only once so far but I really wanted to try this one because it's more of a pink shade and still very, very smooth. As you can see, the difference, this one has a little bit more cool tone. This is a little bit more warm. But, uh, I have to say, out of the two, my favorite is the Daylight. But I do love the pink tone in this one. And I especially like it when I'm wearing more of, like, grays or something a little bit more cool tone. I find it just plays better with the look. So I don't have a whole lot of pink highlighters. I only have probably a few. So I'm, I'm glad I picked this one up and it's really, really pretty. These highlighters are so nice and smooth. I recommend them. At least go to Ulta and swatch them. I actually ran into a subscriber when I was at Ulta. I was so excited about it. She was like, are you Mrs. Lil Lynn? And I had just gotten my hair highlighted and I had no makeup on and I was like, don't look at me because I look so crazy and um, but we had fun shopping together and swatching some stuff so it's very rare that I run into somebody who recognizes me but I get like so excited about okay, it. Okay then like I said there was a free gift with purchase and this is the Wildly Whipped Soft Matte Lip Color in the color Centerfold from Buxom. I haven't tried this formula at all and I actually only wore this on my lips once right before I like went to wash off my makeup right after I got it. So I haven't officially worn this on my lips, but it's a very whipped, moussey uh, formula. It feels very whipped, moussey. I'm not quite sure if these are transfer proof. So this is a product that I don't really have a whole lot of information on yet because I haven't really worn this, so I can't say. But if this is a pretty color. It's a little bit brown for me, but I do think it's a beautiful color. I would probably pink it up just a touch and wear gloss on top of it. Um, I don't even know if the formula allows for that. It looks like it's more glossy, like just a very nice whipped, so soft matte. So I would say it probably settles down like a NYX soft matte lip cream. Um, similar formula to that. Maybe it's a long wearing, but it feels like it's very what it's called, a, a whipped soft matte it has like a soft matte finish, but it doesn't look like it like dries down extremely matte or sets on to your lips. I don't know if this would be extremely long wearing. Uh, I mean, it kind of almost blends out like it would be a lipstick. Okay, I did order one thing from Nordstrom. Oh, two things from Nordstrom, so I'll show that right now. I was watching Tara Babies. I love her channel, and she always has like such great hauls. She was talking about this Dior. This is called the All in Brow 3D Backstage Pros. I got the kit in blonde. Uh, it's just an eyebrow kit. She said that it was one of her favorites. Comes with a really great mirror. Three brushes, a spoolie brush, and then two angled brushes. Has a wax, and then two really nice colors. This is, again, in the shade Blonde. I... I, it doesn't look like I've used it because the imprint is there, but I have used this several times. I don't know if I absolutely love it. Obviously, they're very cool toned shades. 
I actually think I like my Anastasia powders a little bit more. I do like the tone of these, but I find that the Anastasia ones actually wear a little bit longer on my brows. Um, I'm not saying it's a, like a bad product, but I guess for the money, I just really prefer my Anastasia ones. Each powder is 0.10 ounces, so, and then there is an eyebrow wax. Did I say that as well? So there, there is an eyebrow wax. So, I mean, I'm not quite, like for the price, I think this was like $52.00. I just think that I prefer my Anastasia eyebrow powders a little bit more than this, but it is a really nice kit. Even so, like Milani $5 brow fix kit that I like to use for eyeshadows. The other thing I got from Nordstrom was a perfume. I had gotten a sample of this and I couldn't stop with it. I usually don't like honeysuckle, but I like this perfume. It smells gorgeous. It's the Air Mediterranean Honeysuckle. You guys, this smells so so good like I don't know what it reminds me of like I have like a scent memory with it that is pleasant and almost like something my mom must have worn something with like a honeysuckle scent because something in this reminds me I think I know what it is anyone remember if you like used to use Mary Kay they had this like perfume set and it was called Velocity there was like a perfume and a body lotion in that and I feel like my mom wore it it's, it's not like a motherly scent. It's like a very fresh scent. But there's something about this that like is very similar to that scent. And I love it. And it reminds me of like, I wore that perfume too in high school and my mom wore it as well. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but we, we wore the same thing for a while. And this sort of smells like that. Maybe it was in college. I can't remember, but I'm having like good scent memories with this. Okay, on to my Sephora haul. I watched the Tarte Cosmetics Snapchat, and I think the girl that talked about this was Lee on the Snapchat. She was talking about Tarte's new spray-on tanner or self-tanner. This is called Little Mist Sunshine. It is a clear spray, and it goes like all the way around, so like you can twist it upside down. It's like aerosol almost, and it sprays on, and it comes with this mitt and you just blend it in this is like such a soft like velvety mitt I love this self tanner it doesn't go on streaky it has a very even mist and then you just use this to kind of blend it in I find that it gives a really nice light natu natural tan but it's not too too much it doesn't give me any tanning faux pas like most tanners do but I really really have been loving this and um, I think it's it's a great one for someone who just wants a slight color. It's buildable, so you can kind of build on it, but it's not like an intense, deep, dark tan. So I just like to use this because I don't really lay out in the sun. It's too hot here in Texas. I wear like sunscreen every single day, but this is nice to get like a little bit of color in the summertime. So I really, really am loving this. Next thing I ordered was the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. I was super excited for this palette. I did do this look I uh, like this is what's on my eyes today I tried it out I love it I love it all the colors are super beautiful it comes with a brush like most of the Anastasia palettes but all these really really warm tones so many beautiful matte shades but some pretty shimmer shades as well but like honestly all most of these are matte or satin and they're just like absolutely gorgeous so I love this palette if you guys are interested in some looks I mean I love I just love the colors that come in this I think this is gonna be one of my favorites the outside of it is like a very fuzzy um, almost like v fuzzy velvety type and it already like I just already just got shadow on it oh my goodness but love this palette highly recommend it so far I tried it like I said I tried it out today all the shades I use blended incredibly well they were super pigmented I've always been extremely pleased with Anastasia eyeshadow palettes also it has 14 different shades in it so 14 shades I know she did up the price to $42 some of her palettes used to be around $29 $30 35 even some of them but I think now this one is 42 I definitely think it is worth it for that price I I really really like the palette and plus they they used to come I think with 10 shadows and now they come with 14 okay I ordered this uh, Dior Addict lip glow pomade I saw this on the like what's new page I love my Dior Addict uh, rose balm so I thought that this would be a nice little pomade balm this almost feels like the rose 
what is it, Balm de Rose, uh, I can't think of it right now, but the Smoothing Lip Balm from Dior. This almost feels identical to that with a little bit more gloss to it, but still uh, it doesn't have any scent to it. So if you're someone who likes the feeling but doesn't like that rose scent, this might be for you. It really doesn't have a scent at all, um, but it says it's a color reviver oil gel care. I guess you could just put it like over anything and it would give you... I'm going to put it on this right here. I don't notice that there's very much of a pink tint when I use this on its own. Um, I don't know how what my like official thoughts are on this, but it does, it's not as oily as I thought it would be and it's not as uh, pomade-y as I thought it would be. But I like it, but it doesn't have a scent, and I typically like stuff that has a scent, but if you're someone who doesn't, I think you'll really love this because it does feel nice and hydrating on the lips. Okay, then I picked up these two new Way hair products. I, these aren't new, but Way is a relatively new line. Now, I have heard a lot about the dry shampoo, shampooing, and the texturizing hairspray. I've used both of these. I love them. I love them. They are everything that they rave about. I love the texturizing hairspray because I don't really love hairspray but this is almost like it's just like a hairspray that gives like a little bit of grit to your hair but doesn't make it like crunchy it's like almost like flexible hold but gives that texture like a dry spray I don't know I love it a lot and I love the dry shampoo it smells super good it really soaks up the oils so these have been the two that I purchased and tried and I really do recommend these products um, really quality. Okay, I've talked about this already, so I'm not going to go too into it, but this is a newer product from Laura Mercier. It's the Baked Blush Illuminate and Rosé. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's a must-have. I'm wearing it today. It's like, it just blends into your skin so beautifully. It's undescribable, the color. It's like this light, peachy, glowy, I, I don't know, like, beautiful goodness if you are darker skin you could use this as a highlight if you're light skin like me you could use it as a gorgeous illuminating blush it just gives that gorgeous like finish to everything it just blends everything in and looks seamless so I absolutely love this you have to purchase it like honestly if you have fair skin I think you will love this okay with some of my orders from Sephora I got the uh, Benefit Cabrow this it has like this little sample has like a brush right here and then some gel product I've used it once or twice and honestly one of my daughters was like your eyebrows are really black right now um, I don't think I think I got this in blonde or light um, number three. Oh, so maybe it's darker. But I like it, but I think this color might be just a touch dark for my eyebrows. I also qualified for VIB Rouge again, and this little blush in Goulet, or Gou yeah, Goulou, came. I used this the other day. It's so pretty. It's just a beautiful berry shade. Um, I love NARS blushes, but that one's just a really pretty berry shade. So I think you get that if you re-qualify for VIB again ton of people were telling me after I wore my hair curly to try out Diva Curl line. I got this as like a bigger sample. Um, this is the Coconut Curl Styler and I'm going to give this a whirl. A lot of people recommended that line. Smells so good. I can't wait to try that. Um, and then this was something that I added with the code. This is the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer and this is in the color Mood, Mood Light. So it's more of a pink. Honestly, I haven't used it yet, but um, it just is a lighter pink, and it gives you that like all over glow. Holy crud, there's literally, like look at this, like no product in here. Wow, that sucks, because that like is super deceiving. Um, that's what it looks like. So basically it just is going to give you like a really nice all over glow. Okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about was sent to me from Influencer. Influencer is a service where you can review products and they send you products and if you, anyone can be an influencer. Anyone can sign up. So you get these Vox boxes. I've been an influencer for years, even before I had a channel. I think right before I started Influencer maybe. Um, and you, based off of your kind of interactions, 
questions and what your preferences are and come some of the surveys that you fill out you will qualify for different boxes I qualify for this Marc Jacobs beauty box and Marc Jacobs is coming out with a new product this is called the glow stick I'm really excited about this this is in the color spotlight I've seen a lot of people kind of swatching this it almost looks like a deodorant and oh, this is just such a beautiful and pigmented cream highlight so I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand right here oh baby baby like so pretty like let me swatch it right here even like super pigmented and beautiful I don't know if I would use this like directly on the face or if I would get like use my finger like this and kind of dab it on but this looks like an intense beautiful glowy highlight I cannot wait to try this out and give my like final thoughts like I don't know I kind of want to like put it on my face right now it's so glowy and beautiful it doesn't really smell like anything but I think this is going to be an all-time favorite so like I said if you this is called the glistening illuminator um, in 700 spot like I think they have a few other colors but that's the only one that I got it's almost like a white goldish color super pretty so if you're interested in being an influencer and you'd like to sign up I will leave some links down below so that is it for the haul uh, if you have anything that you saw that you really want to see or hear more on let me know down below and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you all in the next video Mwah.